Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot. And today we're doing a quick reading with the Unfolding Path Tarot, one of my faves. And I do have to point out, especially if you've been to my channel before, I've got a new camera set up today. And so I'm still learning how to display the cards um, in focus and in the light. So bear with me as I practice this new skill. But Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and give the deck a really good shuffle for you. And I'll meet you on the other side for your reading. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what we've got. We start with the Queen of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Okay, so the Five of Wands indicates a time when there's a little bit of chaos around you. It's kind of, you know, that energy of too many cooks <laughs> in the kitchen. It's a lot of people around you with ideas, opinions, thoughts, um, expectations, ego needs, and everybody's kind of clamoring to share their thoughts, clamoring to be seen and validated. And that is a lot of chaos for you, Sagittarius. You do not have to, um, you do not have to be caught up in this chaos. This card is indicating that you have the capacity for leadership. You have the capacity to gently, logically, calmly uh, kind of pull this chaos uh, together in a way that folks are seen and heard and appreciated, but uh, the drama is just kind of cut through. So that's a, a little advice for you as we start um, to not be bogged down by the chaos, uh, but to use your natural um, social intelligence to uh, clear, clear up misunderstandings, make sure everybody feels seen and heard, and... Um, and, and move forward with whatever project. This could be at work. This could be within the family. Sometimes this comes up when somebody's getting married and there's a lot of family chaos. Everybody in the family wants to have an input. And uh, it, it really isn't, you know, a democratic process. Or sometimes it can be at work where there's uh, a lot of, expectations based on some misunderstanding or some ego needs that uh, that have gotten a little bit out of control. But in any case, this card is calling you not to get bogged down in it, not to indulge in the fighting or the chaos, um, but to just be a beacon of calm, intelligent leadership. Okay. The next card we have here is the Queen of Cups. Now, this character is a very emotionally capable. She's very uh, aware of her own kind of emotional body and, and emotional working. And she has the capacity to recognize other folks' needs as well. In this uh, role... There is an emphasis on self-care. Sometimes this queen can get a little too caught up in taking care of other people and not in taking care of herself. So there is a, a little bit of advice here to um, not to to remember that you deserve, a, you know, a little breather, a little emotional cleanser. If you need to, you know, step away from the family and take a bubble bath or even have a spa day, something like that. This 
queen is calling on you to remember self-care, especially as you're kind of negotiating this chaos. Um, it'll serve you well to be sure to uh, listen to your own inner promptings, your own emotional needs, and, and do some, some self-care. Now, this queen is also a, a romantic character. And the next card we have here is the Two of Cups. So for any of you um, that are looking either for a new relationship or looking to maybe solidis solidify an existing situationship or take uh, an existing relationship to the next level, this is a really good sign. This indicates a cycle when you're going to be uh, able to share some emotional truths, emotional depths, really be the true, um, deep person in a vulnerable way with another person. A lot of times this comes up, you know, for romantic situations, but it could also be reaching a new level of intimacy with a friend or a friend group. For any artists out there, this is a really good sign for collaborative art and using kind of your own sort of emotional depths and capacity for vulnerability with others to make really beautiful art. It's like when the band like really starts jamming when the when the band really is working well together or some other sort of creative collaborative process um, being able to be truly yourself and truly vulnerable really helps the creative process now the last card we have here is the seven of wands which it's kind of this this fiery energy is sandwiching this more emotional um, connectedness and emotional uh, exploration of emotional depths. The Seven of Wands is kind of like uh, an audition card. It's a card where you have the strength and the capacity to go after what you want um, and you just need to show others what you have uh, in order to reach um, a milestone, a success, or an achievement. So a lot of times this comes up when you're looking for a new job or when you're pitching yourself for, for a project or a new role in your company organization. This can come up when you're defending your thesis, if you're a student, something like that. But, um, you know, in my other life, I'm an actor. And so this always comes up for me when I have a big audition. And, it, you know, there's, uh, there's the reminder here that, that this character is talented and powerful and can withstand whatever pressures the audition or interview or um, thesis, defense, whatever comes up. Uh, you just need to stay focused and stay confident and true to yourself, true to your talents, true to your beliefs or whatever you bring to the role or the, the job or, or what have you. So this is a really interesting reading, Sagittarius. We have this kind of starting in a place of maybe a little chaos or drama around you in the family or the office, but the reminder not to get sucked into the drama that you are above that. There's the reminder for self-care. Um, as much as you are capable of recognizing other people's needs, remember to take care of yourself as well. Um, there's this phase of plumbing emotional depths, opening up to true vulnerability with another person or another group that leads to really great feelings or great collaboration. And finally, this more independent card of going after what you want, being yourself, uh, being prepared for the interview, audition, thesis, defense, whatever this is in your life, um, and successes on the other end. So, 
Sagittarius, I hope you like your reading. I hope it gives you some options, some um, reminders, some important reminders. If you feel like sharing with me uh, and the rest of the viewing audience what this might be in your life or what this might be in your life, I'd love to hear it. You know, there's a space down it. Let's get this. There we go. Um, down in the comments below, I'd love to know how, um, where this, where this finds you. But in any case, thank you so much for dropping by Sagittarius. Take good care.